in previous class we have seen the definition of respiration the meaning of respiration then where exactly the reactions of respiration takes place we have discussed then the structure of mitochondria also discussed overall reaction of respiration that is discussed then the types of energy produced during respiration we we discuss okay next the second video of respiration we shall see the types of respiration and the mechanism of respiration okay types of respiration depending upon whether oxygen is used or not during respiration it is classified into two types one is aerobic respiration and second is anaerobic respiration okay now we shall see the first one aerobic respiration what is aerobic respiration or define aerobic respiration aerobic respiration is the complete oxidation of respiratory substrates substrates means carbohydrates or the proteins or the fats respiratory substrates into simpler inorganic substances like carbon dioxide and water in the presence of molecular oxygen in step wise manner releasing energy is called aerobic respiration what is the meaning of this definition we shall see now aerobic respiration means complete oxidation of respiratory substrates the respiratory substrates are nothing but the fuels the carbohydrates or maybe the proteins or maybe fats so these are the respiratory substrates which undergo complete oxidation then produce the simpler inorganic substances like 
कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड वाटर इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ मॉलिक्यूलर ऑक्सीजन द एरोबिक रेस्पिरेशन ऑलवेज टेक्स प्लेस इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन मॉलिक्यूलर ऑक्सीजन मीन्स the oxygen present in the atmosphere okay how it takes place in a step wise manner then the release energy okay it means for example glucose respiratory substrate which is not directly gives rise to carbon dioxide and water okay it is broken down in a stepwise manner ultimately gives rise to the end products carbon dioxide and water okay so then the energy is released so we have seen the reaction of respiration see look here now you see the overall equation of respiration aerobic respiration c6 H12O6 in the presence of molecular oxygen gives rise to carbon dioxide water and 38 ATP molecules okay for the complete oxidation of one molecule of glucose six molecules of oxygen necessary to produce six molecules of carbon dioxide six molecules of water and then 686 kilo calories of energy from this only 38 atp molecules are produced the remaining energy is released in the form of heat that we have discussed already okay so this equation is very important equation for cet and neat examination okay where do we come across aerobic respiration for example majority of plants and animals shows aerobic respiration and these plants and animals are called aerobes aerobes means show exhibiting aerobic respiration okay that is the one next we shall see anaerobic respiration what is anaerobic respiration define anaerobic respiration may be defined as incomplete or partial oxidation of respiratory substrates into ethyl alcohol or lactic acid and carbon dioxide 
releasing little energy in the absence of oxygen oh oxygen is missed no in the absence anta ide make it oxygen in the absence of oxygen is called anaerobic respiration it means during anaerobic respiration the respiratory substrates for example the glucose is incompletely oxidized it's not completely oxidized it is incompletely oxidized and it produces ethyl alcohol and the carbon dioxide the energy produced is little why the energy produced is little because incomplete oxidation a very important point similarly the lactic acid fermentation in which the lactic acid is produced okay you know the energy liberated is only 56 kilo calories in aerobic respiration 686 kilo calories note the difference then the energy stored or synthesized is 38 atp molecules in aerobic respiration but in anaerobic respiration only 2 atp molecules very important notable point so where do we come across anaerobic respiration anaerobic respiration is mostly found in lower organisms like bacteria and yeast bacteria shows this type of respiration even the yeast shows anaerobic respiration the organisms which show anaerobic respiration are called anaerobes okay this is the equation of anaerobic respiration glucose gives rise to ethyl alcohol plus carbon dioxide and the energy is produced the energy produced is only 56 kilo calories note that point 56 kilo calories okay 2 atp molecules matra produce agutte okay so that's all different types of respiration now we shall see a very important part of respiration that is mechanism of aerobic respiration in your textbook it's not discussed like this okay for our convenience we are discussing like this mechanism of aerobic respiration aerobic respiration may be studied under four steps glycolysis the first step second formation of acetyl coenzyme a second step third step is tca cycle tricarboxylic acid cycle 
and fourth electron transport system glycolysis formation of acetyl coa this is a cycle and electron transport system okay now we shall see one by one glycolysis It's very important for the examination for five marks right schematic representation of glycolysis for five marks okay now we shall discuss glycolysis glycolysis is the first step of aerobic respiration the alternate name is emp pathway emp means the scientist name m dun mayer hof and paranos pathway m dun mayer hof paranos pathway okay now what is glycolysis glycolysis is a process in which glucose is anaerobically converted into two molecules of pyruvic acid producing two atp and two nadh2 in a step wise manner it means the during glycolysis glucose is converted into pyruvic acid so this reaction does not involve oxygen that is why it is anaerobic type of reaction okay what are the end products two molecules of pyruvic acid two molecules of atp and two molecules of nadh2 okay now we shall see see the schematic representation of glycolysis glycolysis is common to aerobic and anaerobic respiration it is the first step of aerobic respiration it always takes place in the cytoplasm of the cell i told you in the beginning some of the reactions take place in the cytoplasm of the cell that is the glyco- reactions of glycolysis takes place in the cytoplasm of the cell and i also told you oxygen is not necessary for the reaction that is why it is anaerobic in nature okay so that's all the introduction of glycolysis now we shall see the reactions glycolysis may be studied under eight to nine steps okay first step in the first step of glycolysis glucose a six carbon compound is phosphorylated in the presence of atp 
and produce glucose 6 phosphate by the enzyme hexokinase remember all the steps of glycolysis are catalyzed by the specific enzymes that and the enzymes very important for neat or ct examination okay in this step that is in the first step one molecule of atp is borrowed adp is produced okay see the second step see the schematic representation in the second step of glycolysis glucose 6 phosphate a 6 carbon compound is converted into its isomer fructose 6 phosphate glucose is converted into glucose 6 phosphate is converted into fructose 6 phosphate that is the second step next you see the third step in the third step fructose 6 phosphate is phosphorylated in the presence of one molecule of atp and produce fructose 16 diphosphate one molecule of atp is used again adp produced thus in the initial reactions or in the preparatory reactions two molecules of atp are utilized that is borrowed you remember it's very important point for the examination and ct neat okay in the fourth step fructose 16 diphosphate a 6 carbon compound splits up into two molecules of three carbon compounds namely for three phosphoglyceraldehyde in brief pgal and dihydroxy acetone phosphate dhap these two are inter convertible that is isomers it means phosphoglyceraldehyde may be converted into dihydroxystone phosphate dihydroxystone phosphate may be converted into phosphoglyceraldehyde both are triose compounds three carbon compounds okay all these are the initial reactions of glycolysis okay now next we shall see what happens to this fructose or oh sorry phosphoglyceraldehyde and dihydroxystone phosphate in the fifth step each molecule of 3 pgal is phosphorylated and dehydrogenated to form 13 diphosphoglyceric acid nad plus is reduced to nad H two NADH two means nicotine, amide, adenine, 
डाइन्यूक्लियोटाइड निकोटिन अमाइड एडेनिन डाइन्यूक्लियोटाइड ओके नाउ इन द सिक्स स्टेप फर्स्ट ए टी पी सिंथसाइज वन थ्री डाइफासो ग्लिजरिक एसिड इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू थ्री फॉसो ग्लिजरिक एसिड ओके इन दिस स्टेप ए डी पी प्लस पी फॉर्म्स ए टी पी बिटो अदान नोडो स्वल्प नहीं डी पी प्लस पी ए टी पी वन मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ ए टी पी इज सिंथसाइज रिमेबर बिटो नोडक केरफुल इन देवेंथ स्टेप Three phosphoglycerol glyceric acid is isomerized to two phosphoglycerol acid. That is, in the eighth step, two phosphoglycerol acid is converted into phosphoenol pyruvic two phosphoenol pyruvic acid by the removal of water. Be here, and then be at a break after. Okay, next in the ninth step, a very important step. Second ATP synthesis takes place. Two phosphoenol pyruvic acid is converted into pyruvic acid. In this reaction, one molecule of ATP is synthesized. That is, ADP plus P is converted into ATP. So thus, two ATPs are synthesized from each molecule of phosphoglyceraldehyde. Okay. Thus, in the above reaction, two ATP molecules are synthesized. now let us see carefully from to from pgal two atp source synthesized similarly from dhap another two molecules of atp source synthesized thus totally four atp source synthesized but in the initial reactions two atps are utilized or borrowed okay so it means 4 atp minus 2 atp net produ production of atp is 2 atp during glycolysis okay what are the end product of glycolysis two molecules of pyruvic acid two molecules of atp and two molecules of nadh2 okay then what happens to this nadh2 the nadh2 enters into electron transport system then produce atp molecules okay so that's all that's all like for the cis that correction is a careful again not for me okay thank you thank you once again
see the reactions schematic representation very important new schematic representation anna practice madidre saaku practice in the sense by heart maadi tappadage very important ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೆದು ಬರೆದು ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ನೋಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಕಷ್ಟ ಅನ್ನಂಗೆ ಕಾಣುತ್ತೆ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ಏನು ಅನಿಸಲ್ಲ ಓಕೆ ಸ್ಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಕೆಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಕಾಲಿಸಿಸ್ ಓಕೆ